Kabuki is a traditional Japanese form of theater. The kanji from left to right means sing, dance, and skill. Kabuki began in the early 17th century Kyoto. A shrine maiden named Izumo no Okuni would use the city's dry river beds as a stage to perform unique acts and dances. The people of Kyoto found her performances entertaining. And soon enough, others began to put on shows using the same style. Aside from using extravagant makeup and facial expressions, Kabuki emerged by referring to the everyday life and the historical events in society during the Edo period. When it originated, kabuki was only performed by women, and this was referred to as ona kabuki. Ona kabuki appealed to people from different social classes and became a favorite attraction. Now, early kabuki was often suggestive, and a number of performers worked not only to showcase their acting and dancing abilities, but also to advertise their bodies to potential clients. For this reason, in 1629, a Tokugawa shogunate banned women from performing in an effort to preserve conservative values. The women were replaced by adolescent male performers called Wakashu Kabuki. However, Wakashu Kabuki was also eventually banned as they also became susceptible to prostitution. This ban led to the emergence of Yaro Kabuki, which is Kabuki performed by adult men. Yaro Kabuki uses excessive and elaborate makeup and costumes, especially if the actor is playing a female role or onagata. Onagata is more than just portraying a female character. It's a specialization that performers train to perfect, and this process could take years and years. Many consider the banning as an important part of shaping history and cultural heritage in Japan. Many believe that it put the emphasis on performers' skills over appearance and shifted the focus from dance to drama. There are four main theaters and other theaters located in Japan where kabuki performances can be seen. The main theater is called Kabukiza Theater, which is located in the Tokyo area. There are usually at least one or numerous performances conducted every month in the main theaters and other theaters in Japan. In terms of overseas performances, there aren't any famous theaters that frequently and regularly conduct kabuki performances like those in Japan. There have been kabuki troops established that conduct performances every year. Some overseas performances are presented due to festivals or special occasions for the main purpose of showcasing Japanese culture and history. This year, several kabuki performances have taken place at a theater venue in Paris to mark the 160th anniversary of diplomatic relations between France and Japan. Today's society, citizens and the government, especially of Western countries, have established that there needs to be equal rights between males and females. A lot of things today, men and women can do in comparison to the earlier days where most people were restricted of certain things because of their gender. Many years ago, numerous cultures set out specific roles for males and females, unlike in the present day where females are encouraged to go for what they desire. This issue also exists in speaking of who and who can't participate in kabuki performances. There can be performances where it appears that a female is performing on stage. However, that performer is not a female but a man dressed as a woman. One of the many claims why women cannot be in kabuki is because the costumes worn for the kabuki performances are too heavy for women. Another claim why women can't be in kabuki is because men have the ability of portraying women very well because all a man does is observe and look at women. This claim draws in a lot of controversy because wouldn't a woman be able to do the same thing? Play the role of a man? When the man performs on stage, what the audience is seeing is a person embracing being in a hybrid gender role resulting in a constant ambiguous interplay between the male actor's body and the female role that he is playing. Capturing the audience's attention using their gestures, movements, and voices, shifting from high to low ranges at first, this idea of men portraying feminine roles may seem strange, but in due time can be appreciated as a beautiful form of art.